What's going on guys? Welcome back to WDYD CSP. What do you do as a central sterile processor? All right guys, I know I've covered this before with the proper inspection of a rigid endoscope, but we're going to do this again. I'm going to show you what a failed endoscope looks like that is actually brand spanking new. So let's get to it. So first and foremost, you want to inspect the outside. Of course, you're going to inspect for cleanliness, but we're going to inspect for these damages on the shaft. Next, you wanna turn this scope over and we're gonna inspect the light fibers here. And I'm gonna apologize because again, I'm doing this one-handedly. Um, you really should not handle scopes with one hand. Um, again, if you drop one of these, it's gonna be damaged. They are very delicate, so you have to be very careful. I'm gonna do, do this all old school way. Yes, there's automated processes for this and the new technology for doing this and better ways of doing this, but this is old school. You wanna hold your endoscope up to a light source and look for those burnt out light fibers okay from the distal tip and the proximal end where the light post is at to ensure that you're seeing uh, continuity and consistency with how the light looks okay for all you old school folks out there i know you know what that device is right there or what that little kit is um that is really really old um i couldn't find my little cheat sheet card um to do the visual inspection but you want to look at that eyepiece, that proximal eyepiece, make sure that it's set well on the um, uh, lens there and not separated, no cracks or anything like that. Okay, next you want to inspect this distal lens here. This is where your viewing angle or your field of view um, is at. And I'm hoping you guys can see this on this video is do you see that little smudge or that glaze over the um, lens there okay several factors can cause this okay um, I'm not going to get into it too much but that haze right there that little glaze right there will give you a distorted view um, and we need to determine whether this is internal or external so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to remove that little glaze you see that little spot there and this is what it looks like when we're looking at it um with the naked eye here but or well, not the naked eye because i got my camera on here but you see how distorted that uh visual is that image okay it has a nice round circle which is great but you really can't see the image too clearly okay so we're going to use this this medium grit um eraser block it's a uh polishing block here um i was taught this 15 years ago by a representative or a vendor um, of this specific scope company. Um, he actually sold these to us and um, he actually had a cup wet hand that I have and I wind up finding some on the market. Purchasing this specific one I have here is 15 years old. I've had this thing for 15 years, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your endoscope like a pencil very gently, careful not to do too much force on there and you're basically going to rub out that glaze now what you don't want to do is what i'm doing on the video right now is putting your fingertips on the distal tip there because you're just going to wipe off the oils from your fingers onto that lens again so you want to use a non-linting towel to remove the um, excess eraser and wipe off the tip and then take a look at that lens, okay? Another inspection at that lens. That little glaze that we have is no longer there. Now, what you did see was the glaze from my fingertips. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna polish this one more time here to remove my little oily paws off the lens here. And then we're gonna wipe off again the proper way. You don't wanna do it with your fingers because again, you're gonna put oils back onto that lens. And then we're gonna take a look at the image so we've cleared off the glaze here so it looks good visually by the naked eye this looks really really good but let's see what this image looks like so much better than before but do you see what how i'm looking over the image and you're seeing like some of the dark spots graying out there's still some kind of smudge or some kind of uh, uh deficiency on this lens and it looks like it's a watermark inside of the scope like you want to look at the little black lines and you want to look at the colored dots as well and see how the image is distorted um, now again if i was to put this into 
um, a actual uh, automated process. Um, we do have one, um, but this scope has not been added in right now. This is a brand new scope for us, so we have to add this model in. It will show you that it's not giving you a good focus, not a good focus, but not a good image, not good clarity. Um, and this is what it looks like from the side here. So, um, and I'm using this old school um, uh, 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 testing kit. So that's a fail scope, guys. Peace.